Hello, I'm Carlos Salgado. Today we'll be talking about pastry dough. A good pie, sweet or savory, is always well received. Today we'll see the three basic types of pastry dough and another one that I especially like a lot. When we talk about pastry dough, there is a fundamental rule, quick and cold. This means working quickly and efficiently. Never will work the dough because it impedes the gluten strength. The less you need, the crisper it gets. And keeping the dough cold makes it easier to lay the dough in the tart pans or rings. I always prefer tart rings. They have smooth sides, so the dough tends to remain without cracks. But if you prefer the classic tart rings, be sure to lay the dough very well. I'll show you. For a quiche, these are the ideal tart rings. The quiche is better when eaten after just being made. Using the ring is better when you have to serve it shortly after being removed from the oven. At the end of this tutorial, I'll show you a very easy recipe for a good and delicious quiche Lorraine. And if you stick around until the last second, you'll have access to an additional recipe that completes the creams tutorials. So let's start our tour of the types of pastry dough. In the first place, we have the short cross pastry au pâté brisé. It's the pastry dough by excellence. It's the easiest to make and it's quite brittle. It doesn't need to be bland baked holds liquid fillings perfectly and is ideal for quiches or french flans. At the end of this video I'll be showing a very easy recipe for a delicious quiche Lorraine. To prepare the short cross pastry or pâté brisé we have 250 grams of flour, 125 grams of cold butter in cubes, one egg yolk, three tablespoons of very cold water, and a pinch of salt. To make this pastry, we use the technique sablage, which means make sand. The dry ingredients must be mixed with the water until obtaining a sand, or in French, sable. This can be made in three ways. The first one is using a dough blender. We mix all the ingredients without making any contact with the hands, only with the mixer we obtain the sandy consistency. Then we add the egg yolk and the cold water. We don't have to knead much. And here we have the short cross pastry. We wrap it in plastic and refrigerate between 30 minutes and one hour. The second way to make short cross pastry is using the food processor. Add all the dry ingredients and the butter. Activate the processor little by little until obtaining a sandy consistency. Then add the liquids. Mix just a little. And here we have the short course pastry. Refrigerate. The third and last way is using a mixer with a flat beater attachment. Add the dry ingredients and the butter. Mix slowly until obtaining a sand. And now add the liquid ingredients.
ready to refrigerate. This pastry is usually very easy to roll out. It doesn't need to be bland baked. When you roll out this dough, you can use flour at first and then decrease the amount. Turn the dough after each extension with a rolling pin. This way it won't stick to the surface and will keep a better shape. Once you have rolled out the dough to a thickness of a tenth of an inch, proceed to lay it in the rain tart. You can lay the dough in the following ways. Folding a circle of dough in two and placing it on one side of the rain tart. Rolling out on the ring tart with the help of the rolling pin. Laying the dough with the help of a sheet of waxed paper or a silicone mat. First, laying the sides of the ring tart and then cutting the base or cutting the base first and then laying the sides of the ring tart. When you have the ring covered with short cross pastry, it's convenient to freeze it for one hour before adding the filling. This will maintain the shape and will help to get crisper texture due to the thermal shock. Add the filling and place it in the oven. And here we have a perfect and delicious quiche Lorraine. In general, this dough can be used for sweet versions as well, with liquids filling such a French custard. In this case, we could add 50 grams of powdered sugar. If you want to make a pie with some pastry cream and fruits, we have a better option. The pâté sablé or rich shortcrust pastry. Sable means sand in French. For this dough, we use the same technique of the sablage that we use for the short cross pastry. Why, if they both use the same technique, is this pastry that gets the name of sable? Many people think it's because it's original from the French city sable sur sarde This dough is very delicate and can be scented with almonds, lemon, orange or vanilla. My favorite recipe has almonds. So we have 250 grams of flour, 100 grams of powdered sugar, two pinches of salt, 50 grams of almond powder, 130 grams of cold butter in cubes, and one egg. We use the same method we use for the short cross pastry. Dry ingredients with cold water. Then the liquid. I'm ready to refrigerate about two hours. When rolling out this dough, you can use two sheets of wax paper or two silicone mats. If the dough gets a little soft, refrigerate a little.
If this dough is laid correctly, it doesn't need to be baked with beans or rice to prevent bubbling. But if you want to, remember to remove the grains after 10-15 minutes and return the shell to the oven. This dough has to be bland baked. It can also be partially bland baked and then baked again with some filling, like a classic French apple pie. Bake at 340 degrees for about 20-25 minutes or until it gets a light golden color. This pastry is perfect for creams with fruits. Just look at the possibilities. For a good custard or diplomat cream, please check out the first tutorial of creams. The link is up here, or you could see it in the description of this video. Remember that at the end of this video, I'll show you a recipe that completes the tutorials about creams. And now we have the French sweet pastry crust or sucre. This pastry has a higher concentration of sugar, stays crispy longer, and is perfect for liquid fillings such as ganache, mousse, creams, or jams. In particular, I don't find this dough as delicious as the sablé, but it's more compact and holds much better in humidity. Granulated sugar is usually used, but to give a more delicate texture, we use powdered sugar. The way to do it is with the cremage technique. We have 125 grams of soft butter, 125 grams of powdered sugar, 30 grams of almond powder, one egg, one pinch of salt, and 250 grams of flour. It can be done in two ways. First, manually. We beat the butter with the sugar in a bowl until it's very creamy. We add the egg. and then the almond flour and the pinch of salt. We mix very well. Now we add the flour without needing much. And here we have a dough ready to be refrigerated for about three hours. The other way is with a mixer. We use the wire mixer to beat the butter with the sugar. And then we follow the same steps than we did before.
Once we get a creamy consistency, we change the wire mixer for the flat beater and then we add the flour. And here we have a French sweet pastry crust ready to be refrigerated and used in three hours. As with the sweet short crust pastry, we can roll it out between two sheets of wax paper or two silicone mats. Lay the ring tarts and bake for about 20-25 minutes at 340 degrees. Once it's baked, we brush it with beaten egg to make it more humidity resistant. Bake it for about 5 minutes or until it gets a dark golden color. And here we see possible combinations. For this chocolate creme or recipe, please check out the second tutorial about creams. You can find the link at the top and in the description of this video. We have seen the three basic types of pastry. The short crust pastry or pâté brisé, the rich short crust pastry or pâté sablé, and the French sweet pastry crust or pâté sucré. And now we are going to add a fourth option that is very easy to make and very delicious, the Sable Breton. It's very delicious because of the high fat content. Originally from the area of Brittany and Normandy, it's called Sable for its sandy texture, even when it's made with the cremage technique. To make this pastry we use 125 grams of soft butter, 125 grams of powdered sugar, 60 grams of yolks, two pinches of salt, 170 grams of flour, and eight grams of baking powder. Like the French sweet pastry crust, we cream the butter with the sugar. Then we add the yolks. And finally, we add the salt, the flour, and the baking powder. And now we refrigerate this pastry for about three and four hours. Roll out this pastry and cut a base. It tends to rise and is not good for laying the sides of a ring tart. So we just cut a big cookie. Bake it at 340 degrees for about 25, 30 minutes or until get a golden brown color. The smell is amazing and the possibilities are exactly the same as with a pâté sablé. Simple and perfect for very colorful and delicious combinations. And here we are. We are getting to the end of this tutorial. Let's recap. The short cross pastry or pâté brisé is the basic one. To make it, we use the sablage technique, that means making sand. It's perfect to be baked with liquids. It's very brittle. The rich short crust pastry or pâté sablé is made with the sablage technique. It has to be bland baked. Perfect for fillings with creams and fruits. The French sweet crust pastry or pâté sucré is made with the cremage technique. It's much more compact and resists the humidity better. Very good for tarts with more liquid content such as ganache, mousse, or fruit compotes. 
And finally, the Sable Breton. Very delicious and crispy. It's prepared with the cremage technique. It can be used with creams and fruits like the rich shortcut pastry. And now I'll show you a very easy recipe for a perfect quiche Lorraine. And after that, you will see how to make a wonderful lemon pie in three different ways. For a super easy quiche Lorraine, we need a quiche ring tart about nine by one and a half inches, laid with short cross pastry and frozen. two eggs, two yolks, 250 grams of milk, 250 grams of heavy cream, nutmeg, a pinch of salt, 150 grams of bacon, a chopped onion, and 100 grams of great cheese of your choice. I use pecorino. Saute the bacon, then add the onion. Cook until the onion crystallizes. Strain and reserve. Mix all the remaining ingredients with a manual mixer, except the cheese. Incorporate everything very well. Add the bacon to the mixer and the cheese. Pour into the frozen ring laid with shortcrust pastry. Bake for about 40 and 45 minutes at 340 degrees or until it's golden brown. Let it chill at least 30 minutes before serving. For the three versions of lemon pie, we'll use the same lemon curd but we'll use three different types of pastry shells and three types of meringue. To make the meringues with the right procedures, please check out the meringue tutorial. The link is up here or in the description of this video. For the lemon core, we start hydrating two sheets of gelatin of two grams each. Then we have 100 grams of lemon juice, 100 grams of sugar, two eggs, six yolks and 200 grams of water, preferably at room temperature. Bring the lemon juice, eggs and sugar to a boil. After boiling for about 15 seconds, add the gelatin and the water. Emulsify very well. For the first combination, we'll use a partial bland bake, rich shortcut pastry shell. We pour the lemon core just made, and then we let it chill for an hour. Meanwhile, we prepare a French meringue. We pipe it on the top the way we like the most. Then we bake it for about 30 to 45 minutes at 170 degrees. For the next two versions, we refrigerate the lemon core, preferably overnight. The next day, with the help of the flat beater, we beat the core until getting a very creamy consistency. For the second combination, we'll use a sable breton and some Swiss meringue kisses baked the night before. We pipe and decorate the way we prefer, just be creative. Finally, we'll use a French sweet cross pastry shell and on the top we'll pipe some torch Italian meringue. And here we have three ways to make a lemon pie.
Thank you very much for joining me until here. I hope you really enjoy and it's going to be very useful for all of you. Now we have the meringue tutorial, the creams tutorial and this one about pastries. Remember to subscribe if you like my content. Thanks for all the support and see you soon. Oh, 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 oh,